us a like no matter what I know, no matter where we go. He loves us. It's awesome. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder. And I love playing games. Twinkle your fingers if you like playing games too. I like playing games where you count. One, two, three, four. Yes, up the ladder. Zoop. And I love games where you go super fast. But this is my favorite kind of game. Memory match. There are two of each card and I have to find the two that are the same. Do you want to play with me? Let's go! What kind of face is this? It's a sad face! We need to find the matching sad face. Let's try this one. Is this a sad face? Nope, it's a happy face. Show me your best happy face. Great smiles, friends! Let's try again. This one or that one? Here we go! Uh-oh, this is not a sad face or a happy face. I think this one feels frustrated. And we still have to match the sad face. Let's see... This one. Is this a sad face? Nope, I don't think this face is feeling sad. I think it's feeling afraid. Now where's that other sad face? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Feeling a little sad, are you? Hey, Ollie. I'm playing a fun memory match game, but I can't find the other sad face. There are times we all feel a little blue. I know someone who felt sad too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, good to talk to you, too. I miss you. Bye. <sighs> oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Sorry, I'm just a little sad today. I just talked to my grandma on the phone, and she lives far away. I miss her so much. But I'm going to go visit her soon. Do you ever feel sad sometimes? I've got a story about someone who felt sad. Do you want to hear it? Okay, great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Hannah. Oh no, look at Hannah's face. She is sad. Can you show me your sad face? Oh, wow. Look at all of those sad faces. Well, Hannah is sad because she doesn't have a baby. And she wants to be a mom so much. Sometimes when we don't get what we want, we feel sad too. Like when we want to ride the swings, but they're all full. Show me your sad face. Or when we want a cookie, but we can't have one right now. Show me your sad face. Or we really, really want a new toy at the store, but we can't have it. Show me your sad face. 
Sometimes we're like Hannah and we feel sad. Hannah was so, so sad. She was sad all day. She was sad all night. She was so sad that she cried. Everyone pretend to cry with her. <sighs> okay, let's stop now and see what Hannah did next. She prayed and talked to God about feeling sad. Do you know what? God loved Hannah even when she was sad. After she talked to God, Hannah felt much better. Look, her face doesn't look sad anymore. Do you ever feel sad? Yes, we all do. And it's okay to feel sad sometimes. God loves you when you're sad. God loves you no matter what. Do you remember what made Hannah feel better? Yes, she talked to God about how she was feeling. We can always talk to God because he loves us no matter what. Oh, hey, Ollie, tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loved Hannah when she felt sad, and God loves us no matter what, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Hannah was so sad, but no matter how sad she was, God loved her. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? loves me when I'm sad. Oh look, we found a match. That makes me really happy. God loves me when I'm happy too. See you next time. Bye. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5.